By channeling the Iridium's energy through a multiphasic refraction lens, I can reproduce the, as yet, inexplicable powers of the Sirens. Maybe not the wings thing, which is so cool, but uh, crucially, the ability to manipulate an object safely through space-time. I'm Anu, the ultimate siren fangirl, but for totally scientific reasons, I swear. And I'm so close to replicating the signature move of my all-time favorite siren, Lilith. R.I.P. Pong. <laughs> Anu. As I was saying, in addition to forever altering the nature of conflict vis-a-vis -vis offering a non-lethal resolution, my device could also change the world. For the better. Imagine, a way for people to solve their problems without killing each other. I literally can't. I just have to figure out how to actually bring back the objects I phased away. And also, where they go. And also, what happens to them? Simple. Interdepartmental demonstration scheduled for two weeks from today. Dr. Anuradha Dar, signing off. Oh, snap. Two weeks? Really? It's going to be ready by then? You always seem so hesitant to put a timeline on this bad boy, so you know, Two weeks? Wow. Yeah, I'm sort of hoping setting the goal will force me to meet the goal, you know? Oh yeah, that's definitely how that works, so... All I've got to do is just figure out the next step. That's it. There's got to be something I'm missing. Figure it out with, like, your intuition or with your tech goggles? I would like to think both. Maybe start with the tech goggles, though. There's a button on the side. Okay, goggles. Let's try a diagnostic. So for starters, I should probably put an actual power source in there, huh? You needed the goggles for that. Now. Where did I put that iridium ore? <laughs> I remember you securing it a while ago. You said, I'll definitely remember where... Were you seriously about to scam me without my consent? Not cool. I'm... We really need to work on your people skills, boss. If you want to know what's in my pocket, ask. Fong, can you tell me what's in your pocket? It's a Vault Lander figure. Some of the other lab assistants and I like to play before work. I totally creamed Roberts this morning and this was my sweet reward. Now that I look at the Jabberman translator with fresh eyes, I realize I may have made a miscalculation in the translation matrix. For all I know, they could have been spouting philosophy. And would a clearer-headed Anu remember the code to her safe for once? Now if it were me, I'd have it on my desk. Line of sight at all times. 
But that's just me. Why does this lock always jam? Didn't we put in an IT ticket for this? Have you tried turning it off and on again? What? That's... No, that's impossible. Just try the combination again, I guess. Better grab some money for lunch while I've got this bad boy unlocked. Did you say lunch? You buying? You know, being absent-minded, messy, and disorganized are signs of a genius. I think. I hope. My trusty tools. So much potential for science in these simple implements. And what's that? Oh, Anu, really? Oh, got you. <laughs> Left the rare and incredibly expensive ore inside the toolbox again, didn't you? Uh, maybe. like it's singing like a siren song like a song of the future a better future with less bloodshed where we use innovation and technology to help people and protect life not casually destroy it as a matter of course like like don't you know I know, like profit-focused warmongers with no moral compass beyond the almighty dollar. Exactly. AKA, Atlas's motto. No cruelty, no killing, no compromise. You're a revolutionary boss. Ooh, who are we rising up against? <laughs> Not that kind of revolutionary, Timmy. Don't worry. I won't. Revolutions typically generate a 30% increase in market share. Good for business! In fact, the only thing better for business than revolutions are the vicious campaigns of suppression by the ruling elite that inexorably follow! Don't 
you think we should maybe, I don't know, not root for people who resort to violence and total upheaval as a means to an end? Upheaval is integral to progress, and violence begets violence, which as I mentioned is great for business. Right. Anyway, are you here for something in particular, Timmy? Yes, please! I'm here on behalf of Mr. Strongfork! To inquire why our company's test subjects are so... Liberated. I'm sorry. Test subjects? The Javers. Liberated. Correct. Your comprehension level is impeccable. You should have no trouble explaining why the Javers are loose. Again. They're currently running amok down the laboratory hallways. The janitorial staff is prepping for what I like to call... Go Jabber Grabber time! All right, it was me. You caught me. I did it. I let the Jabbers go. Yes, we know. I apologize if my tone was misleadingly chipper instead of appropriately accusatory. Wait, what? If it's any consolation, the footage from this instant was captured at a much more flattering angle than the footage of you releasing the Jabbers those other times. Don't they deserve to be free? Oh, I'm not authorized to dispense ethical judgments about Atlas policies. Well, now that we've got that straightened out. Ah, Dr. Dar, you have an update to your calendar incoming. It's an appointment with Mr. Strongfork. Oh, uh, I can check my schedule to see. The appointment is now. Oh, and, uh, what is it regarding? It's a reprimand session for Mr. Strongfork to reprimand you. Oh. Wait, better not go empty-handed? Good luck. Octavio. Oh, Ned Stir! School's out already? Hey, Papa Girardi! I can smell your space calzones from here! Ah, thanks! I, I need a new name for them! Might also need to stop doing that problematic accent! Yeah, I, I know. Miss Johnson, did you get a cybernetic leg? That thing's straight fire. Jesse, how's it hanging, dude? Oh, you know what, Tavio? It's a brand new day filled with endless possibilities and excitement. Sounds like it. New Agorex, who it is? <laughs> Another new device? Come on, Octavio. It's Radon. But listen, I'm almost done with this demolition trip. <laughs> Wanna head to Paco's for tacos? Sure. Why not? Paco's tacos haven't hurt anyone. Yet. I'll see you there. Octavia. Ah, jeez! I anticipated your arrival and have been waiting in a location that would not obstruct others. No, no, I, I wasn't scared. <laughs> like, at all. Your biometrics appear otherwise. Your voice resembles a nine-year-old girl's. Nine-year... <clears throat> nine-year-old girls are the future, so thank you. I acquired the publication you requested. You appear stunned. Did you doubt my ability to purchase this periodical? Or do you fear its contents? 
Yeah, sorry. This issue always makes me a little nervous. Come on, come on! Your biometrics read extreme disappointment. It's Forge's super successful Dirty 30. It lists the planet's most promising, innovative entrepreneurs, and I'm not on it. Again! Have you accomplished some extraordinary business transaction to warrant your acknowledgement on this list? I survived Malawan's invasion. And I like to think that my social influence has kept the city together after the war left it in damn near ruins. No would have been a more succinct answer. Look, I'm working on it. Why? This list is merely the opinion of other humans. You should not value it. As a machine, I find this accolade pointless to strive for. Even if I didn't care, everyone else does, which makes it important. It's my only hope of breaking into the business world. Seeking the approval of others seldom leads to happiness. How would you know? You're an assassination bot. Trained in how to hurt people. What does that have to do with- You seek outside approval because you hate yourself. <laughs> Perhaps you are disappointed, but look on the bright side. Many of these celebrated humans have contracts on their heads. Bivington Bradwick, for example, has numerous bounties on his life, but no assassination bot can kill him. He is rich and important enough that he never has to leave his home or do anything for himself. You, however, are not on this list. You're anonymous, unrecognized, a nobody. This is beneficial for your survival. But not beneficial for my image. I mean, all the best business people have probably at least killed someone to succeed. Something to warn a bounty anyway. I'm doing whatever it takes to maintain appearances. Come on, if there was a list of all the best assassination bots, wouldn't you want to be on it? No. I pour my heart and soul, confide my lifelong ambition to be on this list, and you act all superior robot on me. But I am a superior robot. I have killed 963 people. You have killed no one. Don't diminish my potential. It's not that I couldn't kill. I could, if that's what it took. Despite your erratic behavior today, I am in need of your assistance. Sorry, I'm busy networking, innovating, shaking hands. After Malawan killed nearly half the merchants in the city, we've all needed to make new contacts. This would be an actual job, with money. Your various business concepts like financing, marketing, public appeal. Kidding! <laughs> I'm not busy. Totally pranked you. <laughs> you just got octavio Interesting phrasing. Perhaps I'll adopt that. Uh, well, that's kind of my thing, but... Now, on to business matters. You will aid me, as you have before, in confirming the names of my targets before I shoot two ion slugs into their brain. You know how to talk. You have a mouth. You will prove exceptional. Will I be... killing anyone? All assassinations will be done by me, as prescribed by the Assassination Bots Guild. We have a strong labor union. Whatever it takes to get my business off the ground. Do you actually have an idea for your business? Tons! A few. I'm working on it! and rat ass. Congratulations, Francine Miskowitz. It has been 90 days since your last uncontrolled outburst of rage. All right. All right. Let's make it to 91. Get to work. Take pride in your ability to maintain a positive. 